Cuts to University of Otago staffing are expected to save the institution $14.9 million a year. However, tertiary education union organiser Sean Scott says the job cuts are likely to affect more than just the 160 people who are losing their jobs. So as a result of the feedback process, the employer has decided to reduce um, the number of people that are likely to be made redundant at the end of this process or lose their jobs. So it's down from 182 down to 160. I mean, while we're pleased, that does mean that you know, there's fewer people that will be out of their job at the end of the process. It is still a drastic cut, 160 full-time equivalent. Um, staff losing their roles is, um, you know, is devastating to those individuals. We remain really concerned about what the outcome of that means for delivery of services within the university as well. Scott says staff were upset when they were told how many jobs would go. I think people were pretty shocked still that um, the numbers remained as high as they were after a lengthy consultation process. I think um, it took about a month or, or longer after the close of submissions before uh, this announcement today. So I think people were probably hopeful that there might have been some, some quite big changes as a result. He agrees staff will be under prolonged stress as the decision which jobs are going won't be made until next year. That's right, I mean, it's an ongoing process, so the implementation of it um, you know, certainly go into next year. For a lot of people they won't be clear about um, their futures until that stage. This was backed up by the document released to staff at the meeting, which states all support service job descriptions would be updated and re-evaluated next year. In a statement, Professor Harleen Haynes said there had been a number of changes to the proposal, including reducing the number of job losses from 182 to 160 FTE, and it had been made in response to staff feedback. The institution is now calling for voluntary redundancies before specific job cuts are decided next year. A University of Otago spokeswoman said the institution will be offering redundancy packages. Daryl Baser, The South Today.